hello guys welcome back to our channel my name is Velilen Ngosi in this video we will be looking at the DNA replications so today we are discussing the DNA replications so if you want to know whether you understand DNA replication you must be able to answer these four questions so the questions are what is a DNA replications when does the DNA replications occurs during cell cycle and then what are the importance of DNA replications and the last one how does DNA replications occur so in this video I will be answering all these questions here and then I will show you I will demonstrate how uh, the replications occurs so stay tuned until the end of this video without wasting more time let's get to it So the first question say, what is DNA replications? So the best way to describe the DNA replications is to say DNA replications is the process during which a DNA molecule makes an exact copy of itself. So here is the definitions of the DNA replication. What it say? It say if you have this molecule here and then when this molecule produces uh, the exact copy of itself like this one we had this one and then now we have two so this is the DNA replications it's the same molecule so like uh, it's a copy of itself so this is what the definition is defining then the next question say when does the DNA replications occur during the cell cycle so DNA replication takes place during the interface of the cell cycle just before a cell division which is mitosis or meiosis so we will be looking at meiosis in the next topic so here is the cell cycle I hope you remember this from grade 10 in the cell cycle we have the interface and the cell division so interface is divided into three we have growth one synth synthetic phase and the growth two but the DNA replication takes place during the interface like anywhere around here to here that is when the DNA replication is taking place so when they asked you when the DNA replication takes place during the cell cycle you just say during the interface so and then the next question let's say what are the importance of DNA replications so you must know this importance so the importance of DNA replication is to double the genetic material so it can be shared between the resulting daughter cells during cell division and then the result in the formation of identical daughter cell during mitosis like you remember in grade 10 we learned about mitosis where a cell is divided and it becomes two cells or it produces two cells which we call them daughter cell like here we say daughter cell and a daughter cell this is the parent cell so in order for these cells to have the exact copy of the parent they must be a uh, the dna replication so the dna must doubled or do it must duplicate so that it can be shared between the daughters so this is the important of dna replication definition is to double the genetic material and the formation of identical daughter cells so you can write like the white part here it's the main point now let's get to the next question the next question say the process of DNA replication so this is the last question it say the process of DNA replication so when you write during the exam when you are asked to describe the process of DNA replication you must write this this one I got it from the examination guideline so the first thing we know that DNA it's a double helix so 
First one, the double helix DNA will unwind and then the weak hydrogen bond between or the weak hydrogen bond break to form two separate strands and then both DNA strands serves as a template and then the free nucleotides from nucleoplasm complete the DNA so adenine matched with or pairs with thymine while guanine pairs with cytosine and then this result in two identical DNA molecules while each consists of one original and then one new strand. So this is the process. I will show you now now the pro how the process is happening. So if you just read like this, you might not understand. So like now let me show you how this is happen. So here we know that the structure of a DNA is double helix. So this is the structure of a DNA. And then the first thing they say the double helix unwind so this is the structure and then if when they say it unwind is it becomes like a, a step ladder like this it's no longer a, a spiral like or it's no longer twisting so it's a step ladder like this one this is the first thing it unwind and then the next thing a uh, weak hydrogen bond break and form two separate strands so uh, you remember the the bond that is holding this strand together we call it the weak hydrogen bond so this bond will break and then one piece of the strand will go to that side or the they will unzip so what happened here is the example this one like they will unzip like this one like this so like this bond in between it has broken so this thing they are no longer together they are unzipped so weak hydrogen bond break and form two separate strand so as you can see now we have strand and then we have strand and then they are separate so this they will act like a template so like in the next you say the free nucleotide from nucleoplasm complete the dna so in the nucleus this process happens inside the nucleus in the nucleus we have three dna nucleotides like this one they are moving around the nucleus so they are ready for uh, for the dna replications so what happened is if this is uh, like this nucleotide here is A or is adenine. So adenine, we know that it pairs with a uh, thermine. So in order to complete the strand here, this flowing nucleotide, they must pair or they must complete this template. So like uh, I will show you like an example. Here we have adenine, which is A. And then A was paired with T or thermine. So what happened? The this flowing nucleotide T will come this side to complete this A. So here we will have T. And then here we have uh, cytosine. So we know that cytosine pairs with guanine. So like here we will have guanine and then it will stay like this one. And then here we have thermine. So we know that the thermine pairs was pairing or it pairs with a uh, adenine so here we will take this one and then pass here and then again we have guanine so guanine pairs with cytosine we will take this cytosine and then pass here like etc like here we have uh, adenine so the adenine pairs with thermine so we'll take the thermine this is the, the thermine it goes like here here we have thermine pairs with adenine so this is how the process goes like here we have c or cytosine cytosine pairs with guanine so guanine and the other side pairs with the cytosine as you can see this it becomes something or it's a one thing like as you can see here we have a a will pass with the thermine 
and then we have adding in here adding in will pass with a uh, thermine here while at the other side we have a and then a will pass with this one sorry about this and then we have a uh, guanine guanine pairs with cytosine and then again guanine here will pass with the cytosine as you can see here we have two cytosines and then here also it was two cytosines so here we have two guanine so that we have to complete this with guanine as you can see this is now the dna replication so like as you can see now we have two molecules and then another thing that you must know about the dna replication we have two identical molecules we have molecule one and the molecule two so here we had original template which is this one and then here we have original template which is this one but these ones are new templates this one and then that one so they are new templates here now we have two identical dna molecules so after this then they will wind again so to become the natural structure or to be in the natural state of a dna molecule so this is how the dna replications occurs so i hope it makes sense if you have watched this video to this far thank you very much give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel thank you very much god bless you